chapter wise list of all my videos is available at this point for dvd pen drive please write an email to me these videos they do not require internet they play offline there is no problem of buffering and please subscribe to my channel for regular updates thank you thank you for your support once again we shall now take solved examples on the concept of similarity we have already proved theorems related to similarity and now we shall take up some questions on those theorems and that will help us understand and apply our knowledge of similarity to the types of questions that are being asked in the exams this is one question second question third fourth fifth we shall be covering all these questions in the current session let us start with our first question now the bisector of angle bac of triangle abc cuts bc at d and the circumcircle of the triangle at e basically this circle the this triangle has a circumcircle involved so let us first of all draw a circle and then put that triangle inside it and after that we can see what has been given to us let this be the center of the circle mark it as o and the triangle abc is included in this so let us draw a triangle abc any triangle can be drawn this is a this is b and this is c this o is the circumcenter of the triangle abc and as we already know the circumcenter of the circle called the circumcircle this is the circumcircle it completely encloses the given triangle and one property of the circumcenter is that it is equidistant from a equidistant from b and from c obviously it will be equidistant because abc are the points or the vertices of the triangle that are lying on the circumcircle and these are the three radii which have to be equal another property which is more important property of the circumcircle circumcenter is that when you join o to a this angle is bisected by oa similarly when you join o to c it will bisect this this angle c and similarly ob will bisect the angle b in fact circumcenter is the point of intersection of the three angle bisectors of a triangle we have proved this fact in one of our lectures on similarity a uh, some days back so we can write for our knowledge circumcenter is the intersection is the intersection of three angle bisectors bisectors of a triangle we have given a full fledged proof of this thing that all of the angle bisectors they always meet in a single point that point we have defined as the circumcenter okay apart from this knowledge let us come to our question the bisector of angle bac of triangle abc cuts bc at d so by bac is this angle and its bisector now this knowledge comes very handy we know that the bisector of this angle has to pass through o so let us join a o and it cuts it meets this at d the angle bisector bac of angle bac of triangle abc cuts bc at d so this point can be labeled as d and we can also mark these as 
equal and the circumcircle of the triangle at E. This bisector cuts the circumcircle also. So let us produce it and it meets the circumcircle at a point E. If DE is 3 cm, so DE is given as 3, we will label it as 3 here and AC has been given as 4, AC equal to 4, let us mark it as 4 cm, cm, these will come to our help, AD is equal to 5, this A to D is given as 5, then the, we have to find out the length of this AB. This question will now be solved by the deductions, step by step deductions that we have already mastered while we were proving the various theorems on similarity and I told you at that time that logical deduction is very much helpful if you study the proofs carefully you will be able to solve most of the questions in your exams and now we have now met a question that actually needs us to do logical deduction. Let us start our job now. This AD has been given as 5 cm at this point. If AD is 5 and DE has been given 3, therefore the diameter AE will be equal to how much? So we can write diameter, diameter AE is equal to AD plus DE which is equal to 5 plus 3 is equal to 8 centimeters. If this diameter is 8 centimeters, then the radius OA which implies radius OA is equal to 8 by 2 is equal to 4 centimeters. Radius is half of diameter, so 8 by 2 will be 4 centimeters. So let us mark 4 cm here, this we have already deduced now and now next join O to C. Let us join that also. When we join O to C, we can immediately observe that OC being equal to OA should also be 4 cm. So this is also 4 cm, this radius, this radius should be exactly same which implies triangle AOC is equilateral. We are deducing everything logically from one step to another. So if this triangle is equilateral 4 cm, 4 cm, 4 cm then which implies angle O A C should be equal to 60 degrees which implies this angle should be 60 degrees. From this we, we are led to a next step which implies angle B A O should also be 60 degrees because O A is the angle bisector and we have already ticked these, these are already equal so this angle should also be 60 degrees. Now next join O to B. So let us do this joining also. O to B is joined which implies OB should also be 4 cm the radius so we can mark 4 cm here. The beauty of the whole process is that one thing is leading to the next. So if OB is 4 and OA is 4 then this triangle OAB is isosceles which implies triangle OAB is isosceles. 
so angle opposite to this side of 4 cm is 60 and angle opposite to this side should also be 60 this angle should be 60 which implies angle OBA should be should be equal to angle OAB is equal to 60 degrees now if two angles of a triangle are 60 the third angle should also be 60 degrees because only then 60 plus 60 plus 60 would be 180 which implies angle AOB should also be 60 degrees and which implies triangle AOB is equilateral this triangle AOB is equilateral so AB should be equal to the other any of the other two sides which implies AB should be equal to OB equal to OA is equal to 4 cm which is the answer the whole story is about logical deductions from one step to another let us move to our next question where we will apply the same logical deductions to solve the questions. Let us proceed to our next question now.